of your chairman. I am inspired to share a thought with all of you. This crying need of that, that's why I want to share that idea. Friends, as many of you are professionals, entrepreneurs and workers, let me share an important thought with all of you. Profit, profit with integrity leads to sustained growth. Profit with integrity leads to sustained growth. How is it possible? We need to have a national ethics for sustained growth and peace. Where from it starts? Nate, I am going to give you the point by point. Nation has to have ethics in all tasks for sustained economic prosperity or peace. If nations to have ethics, society has to promote the ethics and value system. If societies have ethics and value system, families should adhere to ethics and value system. I saw a lot of families here. If families have to get involved with the ethics and value system, parenthood should have inbuilt ethics. Parental ethics come from a great learning, value-based education, and creation of a clean environment that leads to righteousness in the heart. Friends, no aim can be reached without a good leader. Now, I would like to talk about the leadership and Mr. Noik is the embodiment of it. Since I am in the midst of business and industry professionals, including the workers, let me discuss the linkage between the national economic development and creative leadership. I am starting one by one. You can also participate. A nation's economic development is powered by competitiveness. The competitiveness is powered by knowledge power. Knowledge power is powered by technology and innovation. Technology and innovation is powered by resource investment. Resource investment powered by as you all know, return on investment. Return on investment is powered by revenue as the L&D experience. Revenue is powered by volume and repeat sales. Volume and repeat sales is powered by customer loyalty. This is all you experience. Customer loyalty is powered by quality and value of products. Quality of value of products is powered by employee productivity and innovation. And very nice to see all the workers also, all the supervisors, all scientists, all the engineers are assembled here. Now, employee productivity is powered by employee loyalty. Employee loyalty is powered by employee satisfaction. Employee satisfaction is powered by working environment. The working environment is powered by management innovation. Management innovation is powered by creative leadership. I started, I started, friends, I started with national development powered by competitiveness. I landed finally creative leader. Now who is the creative leader? Who is the creative leader? For success the mission of the country like India and it's all going to be need creative leaders. No number of creative leaders. We need creative leaders in science, technology, industry, including politics. So success the mission of country like India it's an organization we need creative leadership. Creative leadership means exercising the vision to change the traditional role from the commander to coach. You will not be a commander. She will be a coach. Manager to mentor. You will not be a manager. Mentor from director to delegator and from one who demands respect to one who facilitates self-respect for a prosperous and develop India, the important thrust will be the availability of number of creative leaders. I greet A.M. Noik, Group Executive Chairman LND, for his great contribution as a creative leader and to the great institution. All the members of LND, may God bless you.